greetings to you. My name is Reverend Mambo Wilson from the United Church of Zambia. I want to share with you my vision that I had with the Lord in my ministry. This has been the second vision and my experience in my ministry. I saw a level of anointing and a level of power. And the second time that I experienced a vision, I was in Lusaka and the Lord ministered certain things to me. And this was a moment and a time that God was reminding me about two realms the realms of the earth and the realms above the earth and the Lord was ministering to me that most of the time people have access to this realm when they die when you die it is just a change of affairs you change from the from the operation of the physical now you begin to operate in the spiritual realm and that's where now God begin to look at your spirit and what it was doing on the earth and how it is more qualified if it can qualify in the spirit of the Lord and so God started preparing me that as a man of God you should be ready on the earth that you minister to people the word of life and that you minister to people again the power of God's presence and even when you die it's not automatic that there will be judgment but your works and your behavior and the spirit that you have is already your judgment because God started telling me about the men of God who had died in the scripture Moses and Elijah who appeared to Jesus Christ in the time that he was prepared to die and these two men appeared to Christ and were encouraging Christ and this is one of the most important important first in life because listen to me there are a lot of argument when people say when a person die they die and they wait for the judgment of God but the true and the one thing that I have come to understand am I entitled to my own opinion and to my personal revelation what I know is at the moment that you die judgment has already taken place and that's the reason why you find Moses appearing to Christ because they died and judgment took place there are two kinds of place that God knows there is a heavens and there is a hell hell is made by the devil heaven is made by God and now when you die you go to a place called the Abraham's bosom this is a place where those who are chosen by the Lord stays I'm not so much interested to talk about what God has spoken the eschatological things but I want to talk about what I saw and what God has been ministering to me and I want to tell you those who are listening to me that the moment that I saw the things that God spoke to me everything changed about my life I saw a certain level of grace and certain level of the anointing and the people we have healed and delivered of the same anointing I started experiencing something tremendous that is operating into my life and it is my prayer that the Lord will continue to do it in my life in the time of my slumber the Lord took me by the Spirit and when he took me I felt that I was floating I was not on the earth I was floating and God told me that you are no longer on the earth and I was lying on a certain place and the water was going through my body when the water was going through my body God says you have been washed for you to see what I would show you because he said if your eyes are not washed and your ears are not washed then you cannot hear nor see what I am about to show you I saw a man that was behind me and this man was of the human like me and this man had something tremendous that I've never felt the peace that I had he was a man just like me but I felt the covering of the love within a moment of time I started hearing voices from all places and the voices were shouting at me voices were rebuking me and the Spirit of the Lord told me these are men of God that have died and other voices are heard here for those who are doing wonders on the earth but he said to me that these men of God they have the voice of rebuke and he told me that I am the only one that can comfort you in the times of sorrow and he says that's the reason I said bring your burdens to me for I care this was the word of the Lord and immediately I saw people of different kinds of nature there were working others at different things on their hands but one thing that I cannot forget they were so busy they were busy this one was doing this the other one was doing this the other one was 
doing this. They were so much busy. And the Lord said to me, these are my servants. Some of them are angels. The place was tremendous. God said to me, they are able to hear my instruction than where you are coming from. He said, I have a lot of servants on the earth, but they cannot hear my instruction. He said, actually, they are doing their own theory than my own theory and he says these angels that you see they are able to hear me it is because they see me and they have seen my glory and they have the spirit they don't have the body and he says that you have come here i pray that you may crucify your body just as my son crucified the body within a twinkling of an eye i saw people taken to different places I saw people were busy doing certain things, others with different operation. In my times, I did not understand. I did not understand. But one thing I remember for each one of you that is listening to me, I felt the unusual love. And God said to me that the love I show you, I want you to show this love to others. Child of God, let me tell you one thing. You have a body and a spirit. And so you are more sensitive and your body is more aware to the things that are physical because you see them. But I want to let you know that the spiritual world is more real and more real than what you see. And you cannot tell that unless you die. The moment you die, you will realize that the time that you lived on earth was nothing. The time that you lived on earth was like a joke, was like a passerby. It was just like a twinkling of an eye. Most of the time that God has prepared, it is a time that to be with him process for me to live is christ and for me to die is gain we have wasted our time and our resources on things that can perish listen to me whatever that you see is not internal what you cannot see is internal and it has more purpose and that's the reason now when you are alive you need to feed yourself the spirit not for heaven alone but for the good of the earth and for the good of people around you and for the good of god the Lord told me that you servant, I want you to have my spirit to be aware that I am there and I am alive and you carry my instruction on the earth and I want to repeat as I close that as a child of God, be ready for God. As a child of God, do not be carried away by the winds of the world. Do not be carried away by the appetite of this world. Jesus said, I am the water and whoever drinks of this will never be thirsty again. We have different thirsty, thirsty for alcohol, thirsty for men and women, thirsty for immorality. But listen to me, that thirst cannot be quenched. Only Jesus can quench it. The anger, Jesus can quench it. And the message I have for you is be ready for him. Let him take authority into your life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm Reverend Wilson Mambu from the United Church of Zambia.